Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my stock signals video for Friday the 17th of May. So in this instance, I'm looking at TEL on the daily time frame. Uh, we've got two signals, one using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and the other, a much more aggressive signal, using our Black Box Breakout Indicator. So I want to go through both of those. So both of these indicator suites are on Think or Swim um, for this example, um, but it's all they're also available for TradeStation and Ninja Trader together. So first of all, let's talk about the more conservative entry and the longer term swing that we've got here. So um, we're going to trade the fifth wave on this Elliott Wave sequence. Our Elliott Wave indicator suite has labeled the wave counts and identified the pullback zone that we're currently in right now. So right from these lows, we've been a very, very mixed bag and then we've had this really nice move up. And this is where we are right now. The wave four is important. We measure this in quite a few different ways. So the first thing is, the wave four came back to find support in our amber zone. Now this represents an 80% probability it's gonna go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue, around about $100 there. Also just on the price action, note on the price action here, we have got uh, that gap fill from earnings as well. So some profit taken after earnings seems to have found support. Now back to the wave four, performance of the wave four is important. So our Elliott wave oscillator, has to pull back between 90 and 140% and it's done that right now. The next is our false breakout stochastic, which is the middle sub chart here. So the wave three has a false breakout stochastic up here, which is um, denoting a really strong bullish trend. And then when we pull back against that and cross over in the oversold zone, it's like an elastic band. It wants to return to that main bullish trend and go and hit that new fifth wave high. And we have an 80% probability that's going to happen because we found support in our amber zone. So an entry strategy for this uh, Elliott Wave uh, indicator suite is to go along outside of our 6-4 moving average high, this green moving average here. So for today's uh, bar position, 92.05 would be the entry long uh, for our, and it's obviously a swing trade of the day time frame, and the stop loss would be 87.73, target $100. So that's the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Now, we also have our Black Box Breakout Indicator. So part of that Indicator Suite is our Multiple Time Frame Dot Cloud, which is part of, which is the, the lower um, subchart here. We can see here, these are all green. So basically, we are. this is our special EMA Cloud here. Now, on multiple time frames going up from the daily two, three days, four days, and the weekly, we're all above our EMA cloud showing a very strong bullish trend. Now we got a signal yesterday with our black box breakout indicator. So we got this uh, contraction in price action but increase in volume. There's a lot of other things in the algorithm but basically it's given us a signal to go long at 91.60. So it's, it's earlier than this. Uh, the stop loss is a lot tighter at 88.61. Um, and then that gives us a risk to reward into that hundred dollars of nearly three, uh, one to three. So a better risk to reward, potentially more reward, but obviously it's a lot tighter stop, a lot tighter entry, uh, more aggressive. But we've got that squeeze, we've got that increase in volume, got the higher high, higher low yesterday. I've also thrown on an, a, reg a regression trend channel from this wave four to show you that this, this black box entry at this green line with the bubble there is actually outside of this regression trend channel for the wave four. So both entries are good. One's a more conservative entry at 92.05 with a stop loss at 87.73. Gives it you know gives it chance to pull back if, if it needs to if market conditions change. Uh, you know Trump tweets and everything like that or more aggressive entry using our black box breakout indicator 9160 with a very tight stop at 8861 but obviously the reward is better if it goes on and make that fifth wave target so so there are two alternative strategies there for TEL on the daily time frame usually takes around about uh, you know anything up to 20 uh, bars or candles or days in this place uh, to reach that fifth wave target zone. So if you're trading options, you're looking at least 20 to 25 days ahead of time uh, for your expiration. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all next week.